Hey, this is Ryan for So Is Any Good. We are on the red carpet for Hacksaw Ridge. Everyone's coming down the red carpet right now. Let's see who we can talk to. You're a part of so many iconic films. You've played so many iconic characters. What drew you to Hacksaw Ridge? Um, I think Mel, really, because I, I actually didn't really... I, I was very tired and I sure. have been working a lot and I wanted to have a break. And... Um, yeah, this came along and I said no, no, I didn't read it. And then I finally read it and well, the character is really, he's a pretty traumatised, conflicted man. And and then Mel was keen to do it and we had a chat and so it was Mel really. What drew you to Hacksaw Ridge? What was the script like and why did you choose this film over anything else you got on your table? Uh, well, I wasn't as much of a choice as it was me begging to do the movie. <laughs> I'm not quite there yet. I was like, I read it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the dream. Um, I loved the story, I loved the characters. Desmond Doss is a man with unwavering principles and he, he's just so strong in his beliefs and I think that's such a beautiful thing. We need that right now, we really need it right now. So I connected to that and then of course Mel Gibson directing. I'm a huge fan of Apocalypto. My mum's entire world is Passion of the Christ. Like it's her everything. So <laughs> Is that the Easter film? Yeah, my mum watches it about once a week. Like she's literally so obsessed. She's all dolled up tonight ready to meet Mel and tell him. <laughs> have you told him that? Have you have you had a session with him? Yes, I'm like, you've changed my mother's life. <laughs> So, what was it like auditioning for the film? What, what did you have to do? What was the grueling process of being a soldier? Ooh, yeah, I kind of, um, I read the script at the start of the year and kind of called my agent and said, I will play a tree in this, so just get me on the movie <laughs> anyway. You have a face of a tree. <laughs> I, would have, I would have been anything in this film um, after reading this script and knowing that Mel's doing it. Um, but I, I got to do like a, a self-tape actually, which was kind of, it's a bit freeing and I was actually supposed to sit down with Mel uh, in person, but I got extremely sick and so I had to kind of cancel that day I gave myself to the last minute and I thought I'd lost the opportunity because I didn't sit down with him and then Mel called me two days later and we were on the phone for 45 minutes or an hour and at the end of it we, we got along so well and what's this conversation about that's what it was like yeah and, and, and about World War Two I've got a deep fascination with World War Two and history so we just chatted about so many things and then at the end of the conversation he goes all right I'll see you in Sydney oh, cool. and I went I think I got the movie <laughs> Um, what was it like auditioning for this movie? Like, what was what was the audition process like? It was a weird process. It was a really weird process. I think I went to my. I think we all read for uh, for Grace Nolan's character, uh, who played by Ben Minga in the end, and and we all did one audition, and then uh, I don't know. I still had my page. I still had the page in my hand. I was still re I was still reading off the page, and then I was thinking there was going to be some sort of callback thing, and uh, and I just get a phone call going, oh, you got a callback for Hacksaw Ridge, and it had been so long. I was like, which one's Hacksaw Ridge? <laughs> Uh, and then, um, and then she's, and then my uh, my agent Tracy said, "Oh no, uh, you've got a meeting with Mel Gibson tomorrow." I was like, "What?" You go back for a callback. It's like, oh, you know, uh, okay, what do I need to learn? What do I need to prepare? And they're like, game. "No, no, no, don't don't read the script, don't do anything, just rock up and, and have a chat." I spoke to him about farming for like 20 minutes. I was like, "Is this? <laughs> are we gonna are you gonna audition me?" Or? Well, that's, um, that's ridiculous because I actually had to go to his house in Malibu. He made me do Chekhov, <laughs> Moliere, and two Shakespeare sonnets. And I had to go back there four times and do that. 